today we go to the British Grand Prix with a face cam. Yes, we've still got it, but we've got two long straights, a wet qualifying session again. And I think it's going to stay wet for the whole session this time rather than just the first two sessions. We'll find out as we head towards Q3. And yes, it is a wet qualifying session as we start our flying lap. It head towards turn one. And I'm going to put this out now. I am sorry about the quality of the video. My OBS, when I recorded it, is sort of just, I don't know, it just didn't really work very well when I did this. So I apologize in advance for this. It's gonna be like this for the whole video. It's still readable. Like you can still really see what's going on, but it's gonna be a bit stuttery for the whole video. I apologize for about that. I'll do my best to try and sort of tell you guys what's going on if you're having any issues. But I'm sorry about that from next week when we go to the French Grand Prix. Yes, the French Grand Prix is back on the calendar. We should be okay. I'll have sorted it out by then. I hope, anyway. So we head towards Cops. It's wet, as you can see on the internet. It was wet in Q1. It was wet in Q2. It's wet in Q3 as well. Felipe Drogovic, by the way, he's through into Q3. He is here with us in Q3. He's really impressed me this, um, this session. This, this weekend, really, really fast. Good pace, he's only been about a tenth behind us, I think. Hopefully he can continue that form into the race. As we head towards the, the final couple corners, Drogovic, as you can see, he's just ahead of us. I think he's just finished his flying lap. As we come round the, the final couple corners, go off a bit, we get a warning. The, I think that cost us a bit of time, so it didn't invalidate. We go a bit deep into the final corner, not ideal. But now as we come around the final corner, up to the line, it's a 137.6. And that's going to be enough for pole position here in Silverstone. And that's it. The track got wetter after that, so no one else could improve. And it's Felipe Drogovic is in P4. Fernando Alonso locking out the front row with us, less than a tenth behind us. Alex Albon lacking behind in the Alfa Romeo, who is doing incredibly well. He did so well in Austria. He's doing so well in here as well. Alfa Romeo is the worst car on the grid. I don't know what he is cooking up. But wow, Alex Albon, fair enough. And for some reason, I'm not sure why, but one of the Ferraris of Carlos Sainz decided to go out on the wets. Not sure why. I'm surprised he even got fifth with that, but... Here we are then in the race. It's a dry race completely. Here we go then. Five red lights for the British Grand Prix here in season two. It, it's lights out. And we go hard for a long time. No, we got Andy Stall. We got Andy Stall off the line and we're dropping positions so much. We started on pole in our home race. And now we're already down to eighth. So we're getting all out of shape. Going way too deep. And is that going to allow Piastri? No, he's too far back. We're going to try and make the dive. Back down the inside of Esteban Ocon. Nothing doing. But now maybe down the inside here. No, too far back. But wow, what? No. We were in P1. We're down to P8. And we're not even in Sector 1 yet. And now Oscar Piastri is going for the move on us. Down the inside he goes. We're going to have to hold it around the outside. Which we do manage. But Esteban Ocon now up ahead. We're going to have to overtake him as quickly as possible. Felipe Djokovic, on the other hand, he is up into P2. So, not all, not everything's doom and gloom just yet. But Piastri, we're still having to look behind us rather than ahead of us. With Oscar Piastri going for the movements, he goes for a brilliant switch back at Cops and he gets us. And that allows Carlos Sainz through as well. We're down to P10. Oh, dearie me. What an awful first lap it's been for us. And now lap two, we're going to need to go that back. We overtake some cars here. And Piastri's the first one on the list. We're a bit more in shape now as he spins us a bit. Does not leave us much space. So we're going to be a bit aggressive with him as well. So we'll force him a bit wide and up into P9. And now Carlos Sainz is next on the list to overtake. But he's out of DRS range. It's not ideal. We're going to have to catch up to him and then overtake him. But he'll probably have DRS of Esteban Ocon as well. So not an ideal first lap whatsoever. Now, lap four, we're going to go down the inside of Carlos Sainz. I've had enough of being behind him. We were behind him for too long. And up into P8 we go. And now Max Verstappen is next on the list. We've had to use a lot of ERS, you'll notice, to try and catch up. We also have set the fastest lap of the race, which is quite nice. As now Max Verstappen right ahead of us. We're going to make the dive to the inside. Yes, we are. And up into P7. 
Come on. Verstappen's going to fight us, though. But this is the first steps of our recovery is to overtake the faster cars, and Red Bull is one of them. I think everyone, the reason we're in this position is everyone is getting stuck behind Alexander Albon in the Alfa Romeo. Because he's obviously in a much slower car. Um, Russell was stuck behind him. Now he's now he's cleared him. Now Leclerc's stuck behind him. And that's just allowing us to catch up. It's been very, very nice to us today is Alex Albon. Maybe he knows it's a home race. Maybe he forgot that we kind of took a win away from him last episode. But either way, we'll find out what he thinks after when I have a little chat with him in the in the paddock but anyway here we are lap five Leclerc and Albon surely Leclerc's gonna go for the move he's right on Alex, Alba, Alex Albon's tail Albon does not have DRS Leclerc's going for it round the outside we, we've got Verstappen on our back we've got to look behind us as Leclerc does overtake Alexander Albon but he goes locks he locks up Albon goes deep and we can go through both of them what a move under P5 and there's a safe Great, there's a safety car. The worst possible timed safety car in the world. We just passed the pit lane. Russell crashed into Leclerc when he was coming back on. And now we're all going to have to pit and I'm not happy. So I'm going to make a cheeky little overtake on Esteban Ocon. We need to do that, but we are double stacking with Filipe Drogovic, who is MP2. Everyone behind us, by the way, pits. Everyone pit we have to pit under the safety car be stupid not to at this point but we're gonna have to pit under this safety car double stack and we're gonna be right at the back all that good work for nothing but can we just talk about that move on Leclerc and Albon just sent it on the inside Leclerc locked up at the worst possible time and now we come into the pits hopefully we can have a good stop oh we have an excellent stop 2.0 seconds what a stop from the lads as we come out the pit lane and we are in P20. Sonoda just retired as well on the straight. It's all happening here at Silverstone. It's the place to be at the moment. It's the safety car now. I'm assuming we'll come in very, very soon. So we're going to have to catch up to it as quickly as possible. And here we are then. Lap 7. Safety car in this lap. From the back of the grid. Faster cars behind us. Fast cars in front of us. The slowest cars are at the front. And McLaren, I think, of Oscar Piastri leads the way as we start, re, as we restart this race. And Alexander Albon is the first man we need to overtake in the Alfa Romeo. Or as we know next year, at the moment, the kick car. The kick F1 team. Not the kick car, the, the Sauber. But either way. We, we go down the inside of Albon, now get the DERS, no, Albon defends. But now maybe, can we make him dive to the inside? No, way too far back. Surely we're not going to do it, which we don't. As now, we can, can we go maybe go for a move around the outside of Albon? I thought about it, but decided to just go for a better exit on the Albon. And now here we go then, gaining on Albon, gaining on Albon, gaining on Albon. We're going to make the move to the inside of Cops, but with a head before the breaking zone and we... Oh, the, the lift-off zone more, and we're up into P19. It's been a while since we've been back here, and I'm, I feel quite bad for Felipe Drogovic, actually, because he had shown some good pace this race if he hadn't been muddied by the safety car. And now Drogovic is battling with Ocon to try and get ahead. And that's held up Verstappen, and we're going to go for the move on Max Verstappen, on the Red Bull driver, up into P18. But now, P17, sorry, I'm, we're going to go for it down the inside. And now Felipe Drogovic is next up on the list. Hopefully he doesn't fight it. Verstappen goes for a switchback though. I was not see, I did not see that coming whatsoever. And Verstappen, no, we can't quite hold on to it. We keep the P17 and hopefully now Drogovic will not fight us. Which we go down the inside here. And think about the move on Ocon though, but he just shuts the door. Drogovic does not fight us and I'm very grateful for that. For that because we've got bigger fish to fry in Esteban Ocon and Lando Norris up ahead. As here we are then. Going for the move? No, not quite. Maybe round the outside like we couldn't do on Albon. I go for it. Round the outside? No, nothing doing. Maybe because we went round the outside, we get a better exit than Esteban Ocon gaining on him, gaining on him, gaining on him. We could go to the inside just like we did on Albon, and we're going to go up into P15. We still got the fastest lap, remember? So if we can get to the points, it will count for something. But now Magnussen and Norris are going for the move up ahead. Well, they're fighting each other. 
and Norris does overtake Kevin Magnussen. And now it's our turn to overtake Kevin Magnussen, gaining. No, maybe not, because Esteban Ocon is coming back at us. We're going to have to deploy battery to stay ahead and up into P15. No, we keep P15 at this thing stand, but now, and we do, yes, Ocon, we're not letting him have that. As now Norris and Bottas are going for it. Norris wants to get some moves done. Norris was leading the race, by the way, I believe. As now, are we going to go for the move on Kevin Magnussen on the straight? He sort of blocks us off a bit, but we are down the inside again. I apologise for the quality of this video. Really sorry about it, guys. It's, su it's such a good race as well so far. And I feel bad for you guys who, who don't get to really see it. Because obviously I didn't see it like this. I saw it in 4K Ultra HD. If you, if you say, if you would say so. And now we go for the move on Valtteri Bottas up into P13. And points are just ahead of Lance Stroll. I'm not sure who. I think that's a Nico Hulkenberg. Because Norris and Perez go for it. Again, no, Norris wants to get the move done. He's broken his front wing. Oh, Lando, Lando, Lando. What has gone wrong there, mate? And that is not ideal because that's going to hamper us as well. Oh, my word. He is slow. You can see his whole front wing's gone. And we're going to go pretty easy overtake. Oh, Lando. He was doing so well. He was leading the race, remember? But no. He's going to finish without points this race. And we are now going to have to overtake Sergio Perez. And lap 12, we gain, we gain, we gain. We're going to make the move round the outside of Sergio Perez up into... P11, he fights us though, does not leave us space. Going on the edge of dirty there of Sergio Perez. So we're going to make the dive to the inside and show us we are not messing around and up into P11. And now Lance Stroll and Fernando Alonso are up ahead. I've actually, just so you guys know, Aston Martin just recently beat us, are now ahead of us in the con in the constructors, um, in the R&D. So Aston Martin are officially the best car on the grid. But can they use that at the moment? Nothing doing. Straw, I think, was there. He put under the safety car. Alonso, though, he's doing well. As now lap 10. Joe Guan Yu up ahead. This is points now. And now we gain on Joe. We gain on Joe. We go gain on Joe. We're going to make the massive dive onto the inside. It's not so much massive because we've got ERS. We've got a better engine power. And up into P10 we go. Joe tries to fight us, but in the end, we are much faster. As Lando Norris takes away our fastest lap. By about three tenths as well, so fair enough. It's a shame though. We gain a point, we lose a point. But either way, now on lap 18, nothing really happened. We had to just maintain the gap to Joe, which we did quite well, and then had to catch up. And this, it just wasn't changing the gap to Stroll. But now it has, and we go down the inside of Lance Stroll up into P9. It's taken us ages to catch up to him. As we are on the last lap of the race. Now Nico Hulkenberg up ahead. He does not have the RS. And that could be crucial. That could make all the difference. As we gain on Hulkenberg. We gain on Hulkenberg. I thought about making a move to the inside. But decide not to. And then decide. We have tried to make two moves round the outside this race weekend. So let's try and make another. And this time it does well. What a move on Nico Hulkenberg. This would be sensational. If we can pull this off. He forces us wide a bit. But now into cops we go. We're going to make the move on Nico Hulkenberg up into PA. What a move that was. Round the outside of Nico Hulkenberg. And we're going to come up to the line. It's going to stay like that. Obviously, last time, Oscar Piastri, a new Formula 1 race winner. And we claim P8. A very solid recovery drive from us. Let's see who got drive of the day. I believe both Williams, by the way, finished really high. Logan Sargent, I think he finished in P4. And Liam Lawson finished on the podium. So, very impressive stuff. But we'll see.
So then it's P1 for Oscar Piastri, P2 for Charles Leclerc, and P3 for Liam Lawson. What a day for the, to be a William in the Williams garage. What a day for them. Pierre Gasly takes P5, Alonso in P6, decent recovery from him. Daniel Ricciardo in P7, and we finish P8. Scholl P9 and Hulkenberg rounds off the top 10. Djokovic could only do P14. In the standings, that means we increase our lead to 76 points on George Russell. And Oscar Piastri is now up to fourth. And Liam Lawson is up to third. And Djokovic is down in 19th. So that's not ideal for him whatsoever. So in the constructors, Williams move up to eighth. And we now increase our lead as now we go back to the, the, the workshop, we'll call it, the factory. And guys, if you have enjoyed this part of my F123, my team career mode here in Silverstone. I'm, again, I apologise about the quality. That's completely my fault. I'll, I'll work on it and try and get it done for France next week. But I'll see you guys then for the French Grand Prix. Super excited. Hasn't been on the calendar after a year absence. But I'll see you guys then. Goodbye. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed.